hello guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you an easy way to file for your returns on itax so start by searching for itax on your search engine Then enter your PIN number and then your password. And then do the simple arithmetic and then click login. Once you log in on the iTax portal, Click on the tab returns and then scroll down to ITR for employment income only and click on it. Now confirm your details here and then enter the return period. After you enter the return period, click yes, and then click next. So in this section, you'll find several tabs. That is section A, F, M, Q, and T. So under taxpayer information, confirm your taxpayer PIN and the return period. So under return information, select yes or no, depending on what applies to you. So here I'm doing selections, depending on what applies to this taxpayer. So do you have a home ownership savings plan? No. Do you earn any income from a foreign country? No. Do you have a mortgage? This taxpayer doesn't have a mortgage. No. Do you have a life insurance policy? No. So after you are done, confirm this information, whether it's correct, and then click Next. So here you can confirm the PIN of your employer and the name of your employer on the area highlighted. And then confirm the total employment income. If it's correct, click next. So this is section M, details of payee deducted at source from salary. So confirm the amount of tax deducted, that is payee, and then click next. Here we have section Q, details of income tax paid in advance. So if you, if you had paid tax in advance, fill in your details here. That is the payment registration number, the amount of income tax paid, and then the date of deposit, and then click next. This is the last section, section T. So here we are going to fill in just two details. That is 1.1 and 2.5. So under 1.1, we are going to fill in the pension contribution. Go to your P9 form and check the total pension contribution. For this taxpayer, the total pension contribution is 800, which is under E2.
that is column E2, the totals under column E2, they are the same totals under column G. For this taxpayer, it is 800. Go back to the ITAX portal under section T. So part 1.1, .1, pension contribution, write 800. Now we go to the second item that we have to fill in. That is part 2.5. The pension relief. So to get the pension relief, you have to go back to check the totals on your P9 form. So go back to the P9 form. So under column K, Check the totals under column K. For this taxpayer, it is 5,632. So come back to the ITAX portal, section T, under pension relief and fill in the totals there. So now you're done, you've filled in the two required parts. So the last part, that is number four, if you find it is a negative number, that means that KRA owes you some money. But if it's a positive number, means that you or your employer owes KRA some money. So once you're done, just click submit and then download the receipt.